I'm on the lookout for a butterfly egg again. This time it's on oak. And the egg I'm looking for is the egg of the purple hair street butterfly. Good luck with that one. Now purple hair streaks are largely a treetop species found at the top of trees like oak but they will readily be found at the top of ash trees and where the two species of trees grow together you'll almost certainly get purple hair streaks. The best way to view them is with binoculars, but you can just stand and gawp aimlessly at the tops of trees and wait for them to do their short flight, flitting from one tree top to another, or in the case of males, their short flights to intercept something that's invading their territory. Seeing them low down as an adult is altogether a very different thing, and most instances are usually just by accident. Female purple air streaks will come down to lay and that's why I'm looking on here because I've just found one. Now the place to look to find purple hair streak eggs you want an oak preferably a mature oak that's on a southern edge of woodland basically the hottest part of the woodland and you want an oak that like this one has clusters of large buds at the end and it's just a case of working your way through these large clusters of buds until you find a tiny greyish white round egg like the one that's on here. Now well, hopefully we can keep this in focus. The egg isn't on this side of the board, but it is on that tip there. And if I turn this round, there it is. Look. And that's typically where the female purple air streak will lay. Sometimes they took the eggs right into between the buds. And occasionally they will be further down, like underneath this bud. They're not always in clusters of buds at the end. This one has took me about 10 minutes to find. It helps if you know that purple air streaks are present when you go looking for eggs. Because at least you know you're not completely wasting your time. I wonder how many people still do this. I used to do it for a time in the 1980s, looking for eggs of these to rear through and then to ultimately breed the adults. Yeah, you can buy these now. But it's far more fun and far more useful going out and looking for them yourself. Get the kids involved. What I'm looking for any early stages of butterflies or moths. You can get the family involved. And 
it all provides useful data. I dare say the county butterfly recorder gets very few reports of eggs being found. Probably because no one looks anymore. I think we're losing touch with nature through successive generations. We need to engage the public with nature in the manner that they used to. But it'll be difficult. And if you're wondering the size of this egg, it's a millimetre across. You can find needles in haystacks. And this is the kind of habitat where we just pulled this egg from. From the branch coming out on the very right of the screen. That's where this egg was found. And you can see that there's a number of oaks down this southern side of the land water annex. It is a lot easier looking for these things when the leaves have come off. But it's well worth having a go. You never know. You might find these at a site near you. And it could be a new site for Purple Air Street. The good thing about it, if you're one of these people that suffers with sad through the winter months, you can nip out during the shorter days, find these things. It boosts your mental health. You're also still doing field work. Why wait till it's the flight season of the adults when you can look for these things off season, so to speak? People should be doing more of it. So, this is the realm of the Purple Air Street. Obviously, during the summer, that's just gone. There would have been dozens of these lovely little butterflies flitting around the tops of these oaks. And it reminds me of a trip I made to Cotgreave Forest. And I was fortunate enough to have a close encounter with a purple air street that wanted to play. Let's remind ourselves of warmer days and of the actual butterfly itself. So to get a shot of purple air street like this, I'm very pleased with. It is about eight, nine feet off the ground and I've had to grab hold of the branch and pull the branch down. And this is a butterfly of the treetops. It looks like a female from what I can tell and the lack of purple would suggest that but yeah very much a uh, butterfly of the treetops <coughs> flying around the tops of oaks which is the larval food plant but also spending a lot of time in ash if ash is available and never usually coming down to lower levels although they are known to drop to lower levels in periods of extreme heat so like on a really hot afternoon we Gary and myself Gary Wilson and myself had them in saucy forest and they'd often drop into the shade if it was an incredibly hot day but I tell you what you can't get a much better shot than that it's just a shame it's a breeze isn't it There we go, purple air streak. And there's me holding the ranch. So, uh, yeah, very pleased with it. Oh, let's just see, there's a hint of purple. Oh, 
Ah, uma pedra, hã? Branches to get through with. Branches such as this are ideal. Occasionally, say eggs will get laid further down the stem against a bud. You'll know when you've got one. And there is warmth in the sun again today. I'm not exactly freezing, am I? I was beginning to think I won't find another one. And here's the second one. Sometimes you can just drop on one as soft as anything when you first start looking for something. The real test is when you look for a second one. Sometimes finding the second one can take days. But you can see the, the egg has been laid on the largest of the buds. And the caterpillars emerge early, emerge about March time, depending on the weather, and usually will burrow, burrow into the unopened bud. And caterpillars can be quite easily beaten from oak, especially where oak's flowering. But there we are. Today's little excursion to look for purple air streak eggs has paid off. I'm happy with that. Brown air streak next then.